Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be looking at a non-standard equation with e to the power x or the exponential function. I'll be presenting a method to solve this problem and I'll show you two different graphs. All right, let's get started. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and add x squared to both sides and write this as e to the power x equals x squared plus 1. Now, for many purposes, uh, this is actually a little better, in my opinion. You could disagree with me on that. So here's what I'm seeing. I do see an increasing function on the left-hand side, and I do see another increasing function on the right-hand side. So it doesn't really tell me anything. If I had a decreasing function on the other side, then I could safely say that, hey, one of them is decreasing, the other one is increasing, then I have a single solution. But here's the thing e to the power x, even though both of these functions are increasing, e to the power x is uh, going to grow faster than x squared plus 1 because this has the exponential growth. This is just a poor parabola. All right, great. Let's go ahead and just guess and check our solution. So my guess is x equals 0. I know some people are not going to like it, but, you know, hey, we can sometimes do that, right? Well, x equals 0 works right because e to the power 0 is 1 0 plus 1 equals 1 okay great now are there any other solutions though so that's going to be the biggest question here so let's go ahead and explore a little bit first of all y equals x squared plus 1 is a parabola and if you differentiate it y prime is 2x set it equal to 0 you'll notice that at x equals 0 it has a minimum or a maximum how do you find out? You can go ahead and make a table, even though this is fairly simple. I think this would be good practice because you'll see more complex or more complicated functions. Now, if x values, this is the derivative, by the way. If x is positive, the derivative is positive. Otherwise, it's negative. This indicates that our function is going to decrease and then increase, making actually a minimum at 0. And so we're going to have a 0, 1 as our minimum point. Okay, so we have a minimum at 0, 1. So this is one way to look at it, right? Obviously. So what does that tell us, though? So we have a parabola that has a minimum at 0, 1. So to be more precise, I'll show you the graph later, but it's actually going to look something like this. And e to the power x is exponential, as you know, and uh, we just found out that at 0, they intersect. But could they be intersecting at another point besides 0? So that's what we're going to explore. But before that, let's go ahead and do the following. Let's look at it from the original equation. e to the x minus x squared equals 1. So I'm going to set f of x equal to e to the x minus x squared. Now notice that we have a function uh, that is increasing. e to the power x is obviously going to grow faster. And uh, if you go ahead and differentiate this, now let's see what happens you get e to the x minus 2x. If you set it equal to 0 to find the critical points, right? You get e to the x equals 2x. But unfortunately, this equation has no real solutions. Why? Because if you look at it graphically, e to the x is exponential, and 2x is a graph or function, a linear function, that has a slope of 2. By the way, my graph kind of looks like uh, with slope 1. Uh, we could probably make it steeper. and uh, But to keep a long story short, they're not going to intersect. Again, this is not an improvement, but you get the idea. So in other words, these two functions do not intersect. And you can definitely check this with Desmos, right? Okay. Should we do that? Let's go ahead and take a look at Desmos and see why they do not intersect. Okay. As you can see in this graph, these two functions do not intersect. And since e to the power x is exponential and it's going to grow much faster, uh, if they didn't intersect, they will not intersect anywhere else. Okay, let's go back to the solution. So now we do know that they don't intersect, so there is no maximum or minimum. Because if we did have a value, then we would have a critical point. Let's go ahead and check something else. What about concavity, right? Let's take the second derivative, which is the derivative of the derivative. This is the first derivative. It's going to become e to the power x minus 2. If you set it equal to 0, 
you get something like x equals ln 2. So let's go ahead and take a look at our graph, which is kind of interesting here. But this time I'm going to only check the second derivative for concavity. So at ln 2, we have a critical point and uh, to the right and to the left. So if x is greater than ln 2, we're going to have a positive second derivative, otherwise negative, which means our graph is concave down for values that are less than negative, uh, less than ln 2. And otherwise, it's going to be concave up if x is greater than ln 2. In other words, ln 2 comma 2 minus ln 2 squared is an inflection point. Make sense? It is going to be an inflection. Inf inflection point is basically where the concavity changes. So let's say you have a graph like this, uh, which is concave up and then it becomes concave down. Oops. I shouldn't be doing that with Desmos. You have to be quick. Okay, so this is where kind of like the concavity changes. Of course, our graph is concave down first, so it's going to look more like this and then like that. Make sense? So, for example, y equals x cubed uh, it has an inflection point at zero. Okay, so that's basically another thing that you can check. Why did we check all of these? Obviously, the answer kind of looks obvious, but when we look at the two graphs, uh, you're going to have a better understanding um, why uh, we have these solutions. And x equals 0 is the only solution we found so far. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the two graphs. So our first graph is the graph of y equals e to the x and x squared plus 1 separately. Remember what I said about e to the x? It grows faster. It's exponential. This is just a parabola, so it's polynomial. Obviously, exponentials grow faster, right? So they intersect at 0, 1, and then what happens is the parabola is increasing, the exponential is increasing, but they are getting far and far away from each other. Why? Because exponential is going to just grow much faster, so they'll never get closer, okay? Which means x equals 0 is the only solution. All right, so this is one of the graphs that we are going to look at. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other graph. So the other graph is actually putting these two functions together. And it's interesting because remember when we uh, looked at the whole function, we checked the concavity. There was a reason for that. So you can clearly see here that we have an inflection point. And our function e to the x minus x squared is intersecting a horizontal line. Now, this is always increasing, and it's going to intersect a horizontal line at exactly one point, and that is where x equals 0. So y equals 1 and y equals e to the x minus x squared is only going to intersect at x equals 0, and that will be the only solution to this equation. And you can see the point of inflection right here. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.